Hi, Cancers. Welcome and welcome back to Prefer to Tell Row. I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you are, would like to see the person to read it with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. We have something about concierge. Concierge. Did I say that word right? I hope I did. So you guys may be out on vacation or something like that. Wait, no, you don't need to be on vacation to have a concierge service. You could just be up in the condos or something like that, okay? You're living good. That type of energy. But that's what I'm feeling. Most important messages. But that's the word I heard, okay? Most important messages for cancer, please, and thank you. Oh, that's why. Living good, cancer, living good. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And we also have the new beginning card, which, which is the fool. All right, new life. New life. Turn up, cancer. Things are turning around for you. Things are about to get good. Welcome to the good life, baby. We have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the King of Cups. Control your emotions because it's about to get real. All right, you won't, you, you won't believe it's happening. You won't believe it's happening because what's being tapped out is this toxic energy that you've probably been dealing with or whatever. But, um, yeah, it's about to get real. Beautiful. Most important message is for cancer. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Most likely um, Aries for some of you all, but could be in your chart. We have the Nine of Pentacles, and we also have the Sun card. All right, fun times, fun in the sun. Things going good. Most of you guys, some some of you guys maybe going to Florida. Maybe you already down there in Florida, Sunshine State. And then we have the Judgment card at the bottom of the deck with the Chariot card. Yeah, you made a decision to travel to do something, go somewhere, have some fun, enjoy your life. Some of you guys may be newly single. Some of you all may be newly single. All right? Newly single. Doing your own thing. Ready to turn up. Do I, should I put some more cards? Or just, I'm going to pull them. I'm going to pull a few more. I'll just pull a few more and then we'll get some clarifies. More messages for cancer. Okay, okay, okay. We have the Ace of Cups, self-love, and then we also have the Two of Swords. Ah, uh, I'm sure. Yeah, some of you all are newly singing. You're like, look, I don't know about this feeling. I think I want my baby back or something like that. We have the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, worry, doubt, and anxiety. And then we, th we have the Seven of Pentacles waiting investment maybe you waiting on an investment or something to clear something to clear anyways two of swords ace of cups you're unsure about this new energy of self-love just being all about self some of you all the kids have grown up out the house whatever is going on you are free and you can just live for yourself and you're like oh my goodness wait this is new it's a new feeling new life it's a new feeling it's growth growth what's the will of fortune What's, yeah, I see that judgment card tries to come out. All right, judgment is being called. Judgment tried to pop out again, you all. So we have the Empress card that, that fell out. Someone has left the building. Someone has left the building. You, you are no longer in this relationship. This might be the mother of someone's child. Yes. Most likely it is. You decided to move on away from the arguments and stuff like that. You don't want to be bothered. Um, yeah, you wanted to hold on to what you had at this point in time. But it's at the same time, you started to feel lack thereof. You started to feel like you wasn't yourself. So, um, instead of holding on, you decided to move on. You ready to change your life. Things are changing for you before your birthday, right? What's the full card? How many times I said it? The judgment card is trying to come out. Judgment Day is coming, you all. Judgment Day is coming. And the judgment for you all is new beginnings. So we have two, two of Pentacles and a Knight of Wands. All of that impulsive energy, in and out, in and out, in and out. Not knowing what you want, just doing things. You know, living in the 20s type of energy. That's coming to an end. Some of you all may be going into your 30s. Look, we got a three. Three. Some of you all may be going into your 30s type of energy. Just growing, just growing a new chapter in your life. Why do I feel so excited in your energy? Moving on. What's the King of Wands? Five of Swords. There's that fight. There's that argument. I think that you don't want to be involved with anymore. You'd rather have a new opportunity. Okay. Let me let me say this. If you accept another thing from this person or take or give this situation another chance, I think you know that you're going to be fighting with this person again. They're going to come with the same energy. Probably lying. I'm getting this energy of someone lying. Do you ever tell the truth? All I'm asking you is for the truth. Dang. 
I just want to know the truth. Did you eat the last bagel? No, I didn't eat the last bagel. Okay, it was a bagel in there last night, and you was the only one that was here. That type of energy. Moving on. What's the, what's the nine of pentacles? It may not be that simple, but <laughs> we had the knight of wands. And yeah, yeah. If you're going to do impulsive energy, impulsive things, acting like you're single, be single. That's what I'm hearing somebody tell someone. If you're going to act like you're single, just be single. Why are we together? Why am I acting like your wife? Why am I being your wife? Why am I here for you all the time? Why am I treating you like a wife? If you're acting like you're just a single person, be single. Ten of Wands and a Page of Cups. The more you offer to this individual, the more burdens is being created. And Source is showing you that. But I'm also getting this energy about how about being nice. <laughs> someone's super mean. It might be coming from you or this other person, however it is. Someone, someone's like, uh, Source is telling me to tell you all how about being nice. But if that doesn't work, it's time to walk away. Or if it hasn't been working, it's time to walk away. What's the sun card? Name? What's the sun card? Could I have this sun card? Just want to be happy. This person just wants to be happy. We have the two of pentacles, energy, Capricorn, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth with this energy is causing this energy of betrayal. This person has a bag or something like that. Or, you know, they're coming with the money, honey. They some, they, there's some sen uh, uh, um, there are a sense of security to, to a certain extent. Okay? Or this is just the person you was committed to. But time at the time at the time, you, ca you catch them in the lies. The lies. Oh, so you're lying again. You obviously don't want this relationship. You don't want to be here. That type of thing. Just when I'm getting. So what's the Ace of Cups? Clarify the Ace of Cups. Not funny. It's not funny at all. So we have the Emperor card. No, the higher thing. Yes. Source coming through and saying, look, love yourself first, baby. Do you think I would treat you this way? Do you think I put you on this earth to be treated that way? That's what I'm getting. Okay, chill, chill. That was the message. You think I put you on this earth to get treated that way? That's not it. We're not here for hell on earth. We're here for heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. Not hell on earth. Heaven on earth. All of that, you can't expect nothing different when you're playing with this. You won't wish for him, but you're not getting it. It's not what, it's not what you get in there. Or it's like a false sense of security and emotional fulfillment. Yep. And I think you realize that. I think you realize that. What's the two of, two of uh, swords? Yeah, I feel like someone felt like they... They couldn't see themselves or for who they truly were or the relationship for what it truly look. Bam. Ten of Swords. Backstabbing. Backstabbing. It's over with. It's over now. Move over. It's over now. You working, hoping that everything will be together, work out. But at night, somebody out there manifesting with other people. Allowing other people in the relationship and the connection and the situation, whatever you got going on. We're just Or... You really don't even know that these people are actually competing with you type of energy. Let me put a little bit of lip, stop, lip, 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 gloss, lip gloss on. Because over here, this ain't a little chap. I'm going to hold this this over there. All right, moving on. Eight of Pentacles. Now I seem like a little bit too much. <laughs> All right, Eight of Pentacles energy at the bottom of the deck. Work, effort, focus. What we just clarify? The Ten of Swords. I'm going to move on. Okay. What's the Empress card? What's the Empress card for the beautiful, wonderful Cancers out there? Clarify the Empress. It's not yet. You're speaking, yeah. You're speaking your truth, what it is that you want in life, and what it is that you deserve. And because you've spoken that out into the world, the universe. That energy is coming towards you, okay? Judgment, like I said, is being called. It's like, okay, I got you something new. Here. Here. You can do something differently. Yep. Yep. Look at this. Karmic justice. Maybe in a relationship or connection or choice and decision making. Maybe it's time to pull back and stall when it comes down to relationships and walk away. Create boundaries and stuff like that. And remember your worth. Know your worth. Raise your value type of energy. What is the judgment card? Oh, uh, which fulfillment? I've seen it, but it didn't slide out. What's a judgment card? Choose happiness, though. Clarify the judgment card. Knight of Cups. 
So have compassion towards yourself and another and others. We have the three of wands because, yes, you may see yourself in a situation where you were trapped or you felt like you were trapped up into this point. But now it's time to make a decision to love yourself first, like I said. Have compassion on yourself in the situation that you've been through and understand that you can come out of this. Follow your intuition about um, this security that you have. Follow your intuition. I feel like someone's been looking for marriage and hasn't received it yet. You receive the D, you receive the goods, but you're not receiving the marriage that you're looking for. Hell, you might have received it with children. I don't know. But um, you want something more. I feel like a person wants something more. We're going to move on, though, okay? Hierophant. What's the Hierophant card? What's the Hierophant? We have the Page of Swords watching, looking, observing, um, needing more information, the Moon card, and the Five of Year. Pay attention. Source is asking you to pay attention. Pay attention. Someone is playing tricks with your emotions, your mind. I think you know it's time to, like, restrain yourself from this situation, communicate, or stop communicating nonsense with a person, and just pull it back if it's not changing anything. Literally, it's someone in a situation where you feel like it's wishful for me. Oh, my goodness, it's wonderful. Or everybody else thinks that you're in a wonderful relationship, but in closed doors or behind closed doors. It's a hot-ass mess. And you know that if even if you don't want to realize it or recognize it, can I get more messages? Please, we're gonna get a few more. What is this five of swords doing? What was the arguments and stuff about? Or at all cost type of energy about? What is this about? The three of wands. You want more? You want someone? It someone want wants more. Like when is this coming? When I, when I'm, when not when am I going to move into that house? When am I going to get married? When are we going to have chips? Something like that. Or like I said, children already came, and it's time to move forward. If you don't receive what you want in that situation, it's time to pack up and leave. It's time to go through some type of healing process as well. See things differently. Being stuck in this situation is causing you not to be able to see things clearly or heal the way you should. Leave Paul. Um, what's the Knight of Swords doing? What's the communication about? Ooh, the devil. You trying to cut through that ish. You knew that she was dealing involved with some toxic ish. Yes, and now you, like I said, you recognize the truth. Now you're ready, you're ready for the changes. You cutting through that stuff and you're going through your changes. You're ready to evolve. <sighs> the death card change and transformation when it comes down to your emotions. This is this is a not this is no longer allowing a person to control you because of your emotions and you come together and maybe a third party situation or constantly reconnecting and um, having uh, reconciliation with this individual, but it's toxic. What's the Knight of Cups? No, I'm not. I don't need that one. What's the Knight of Wands doing? We really don't need this either. I don't think because this was just impulsive. Now let's see. What's the Knight of Wands doing? This person is taking a chance on themselves, maybe to do something on their own. Like I said, that's how a card. No, that goes back to the situation. If you're going to be acting single, just be single. Someone has been offering patience up until this point now. Someone's about to let it fall, towel out. Okay? Also, this is actually a, um, this is also a situation where a person no longer wants to be in that in and out energy. What's the tower card? Or, yep, where well, something isn't secure. You're trying to towel that, that, that lack thereof energy away that queen of wands to this three of swords someone's tired of just the physical you want more than physical you want it all you want you want to be the like um the wife the husband or nothing type of energy so what's the page of swords doing here the chariot card and the six of clubs yeah someone's um finding a new place to stay moving away from the past someone's finding a new place to stay with the children as well Something about children. Moving on. Eight of Cups walking away. You've been thinking about this for a long time now. Because you want you want more of a balance in the relationship. You want a better relationship. You want a healthier relationship type of energy. What's this um devil card? What this beast is doing? What is the beast doing over here? What's the devil card? Or what's it doing? Heartbreaking. Don't break my heart. No, no, it's no, it's unbreak my heart. Unbreak my heart. That's what I'm hearing. Unbreak my heart. Say that you love me again. That energy, that song, baby. Yes. Yes, it's heavy. That's a thick song, ain't it? That's a heavy song. Unbreak my heart. Say that you love me again. That song, that song, that song. 
Four of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Like, you just, the lies was being fed and you was just eating it up, eating it up, eating it up. No, I'm not hurting. It's okay. It's okay. Everybody go through this type of energy. No. Stop the struggle. No more struggle love here, okay? Three of Swords in reverse. Whew. Causing you pain that you, need, you didn't want to heal from or see or accept. Something like that. Something was keeping you stuck and you ain't want to see it. People were feeding you lies or you were feeding someone else lies. They didn't want to accept it. Someone was just controlling your emotions, acting like everything was okay. Dealing with some type of foolish energy because of the finances. I see it. For the bag. It's okay, though. We get it. Hopefully, you've um, saved enough <laughs> to gather and move on. All right? Or because of all the time that had been spent in the situation. It may not just be about the bag. The security. It could just be about the time that you put into this um, situation, this relationship. You don't want to just give it up so easily, but at the same time, it's toxic. Something was low about it. Something was keeping you stuck. All right, so what's the advice? The Ace of Wands sideways. The f Do I say this? Be careful before you accept, I'm going to say, the goods. The f I ain't going to lie. The first thing I heard was get tested. I'm going to just say that. It's none of my business. But that was, when I say that was the first thing that I heard, and it, don't, it didn't come up for no reason, because the source is not going to tell me anything that's not my business. But I guess that's for someone. Like, restrain yourself before just giving it all in type of energy. Like, that's the advice. What's this? The, the AC ones is uh, sad. Why would you? Uh huh. Don't do it. Get let that mother get tested. That's what I'm getting. You move too fast and end up hurting that situation, moving back into this relationship and feeling stuck. Like why did I just get back into this? Test it out. What is whether it's just to get tested, test it out. Test is something is testy. What's the hermit card? Virgo. Yeah, you need to know the truth first. Yeah, chills all over my body. So it's the saying you need to know the truth. Know the truth first. Before having fun. Love yourself first as well. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. Be patient. Take your time while moving forward. Know the truth. Before trying to balance this out again. Renew hope and faith with this opportunity. But I think reconnecting with this energy is like it's just done. What's the temperance card? The seven of cups. Confusion. Uh-huh. This person, this energy is trying to confuse you again. Someone is trying to throw you off again. I wouldn't even just open. I wouldn't even open up to this energy again. I want to give myself to this person or open my womb up to this person again. However it is. You need to know, truly know about this individual. And if you can't, if you uncertain about this, hermit, hermit, nothing to talk about. Too much worry, doubt, and anxiety. The person trying to hold on to burdens and stuff. Uh-uh. Uh, anyways it's okay to be single most important message for cancer most important message for the sign of cancer please and thank you the song who sings this song I can't leave them alone um I tried that. Is it? I tried that good boy thing, but the dope boy turned me on. Someone's dealing with a dope boy. Mm -hmm. That didn't come up for no reason. I can't leave him alone. I tried that some something, but the maybe I I got a fan. Hold on, let me see. Hold on. But the dope boy turning me on. Got to be careful. It, it, it was a turn on back in the day, but you know, them, them people, it's... Tried to change my ways, but the dope boy turning me on. I don't remember this being anybody with Lil Baby in it, but they showing me late time green 
I don't feel like that was that person, but whatever. It's Sierra. It's Sierra. Anyways, my bad, you all. Y'all could, you know, move forward with that. I tried the good... I tried that good boy game, but the dope boy's turning me on. But they don't know me because I am what he wants, his girl, and I love it. I can't leave him alone. Yep. That's what I'm seeing. Let me see. Yes, one dose of me will have you addicted. Mm-hmm. To know me is to love me. <laughs> I can handle my business. Any city, any city, any town, touchdown, I do my thing. I'm a hustler, baby. I provide by any means. So this person does have a bag. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm getting, cancel. Most important message is for the sign of cancel, please, and thank you. I'm Rose Hill. Now, actually, Sourcey is, but, you know, me being used. Check this out. Look, look, not for you and Mindy. Then we talk about Mindy in this situation, coming back together because of what? The support, the building blocks. Yes, you're going to always be supported regardless. But right here, this situation is not for you, baby. And I'll be careful about just mending and getting back together. It's okay to mend it and be like, okay, forgive it. Bygones, but let bygones be bygones. I forgive you or whatever. But uh, something is not for you. Let's read it. Number six. <sighs> excuse me. A clear knowing that, excuse me, that something is being denied you. Rejection is God's protection. There are... There are times when it appears that no matter how deeply you desire something, no matter how hard you work at something, the results, the result you seek always seems to elude you. It's as if you don't really get to be in the game and you feel you're just watching from the sidelines. The appearance of this card indicates that you are not going to attain what you want right now. That indeed your dreams for that exact thing won't be fulfilled. This is a time to, ra to radically accept that not everything is available to you when you want it. Take heart for there are benevolent forces who desire the best for you and have a much clearer idea of what is going, what is for your highest good. Rejection is God's protection. Something much better will make you truly happy and it's on its way trust this and we see that we see that let me read the relationship message some relationships carry an innate seed of failure in them that is obvious from the beginning but the red flags escape your observation or you refuse to acknowledge them when a relationship is not meant to be it is not possible to make it be rejection is a sign is a sign that you are being protected by the divine if you are the uh, the one who must reject another remember that you do so for both your sakes. For every pot, there is a lid. This one may not be the best fit. I don't even see it. Let's, no, let's move to 28. We're going to read the one at the bottom of the deck. Just the first few. The first message and then I'm, I'm, I'm finished. Okay. Go ground myself really quickly. <laughs> Strong foundations, a beautiful work and progress. You have everything you need to cultivate an extraordinary life. This is a time when you focus, when your focus needs to be on the foundations you build upon. Your work, your relationships, and your very being are underwritten by your values, ethics, morals, and core beliefs. Are they still true for you? Will they stand the test of time and serve as the solid ground and upon which you construct your life? Now you are making changes that will affect everything in a positive way. Your destiny is truly a remarkable and beautiful design. Cancel, that was your reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.